What's going on guys? Welcome back to a, another standard video here on the internet. I'm your host, Esper. Uh, is there any picture of water? How did you uh, I actually did some casting for Hearthstone at one point. Um, Alright, so... This is an Esper deck we're going to take a look at. This is actually posted to Gathering Magic today by my buddy Ali Antrazi. And, um, I'm orange, you're being away yesterday. What does that... <laughs> oh, I, th I, I assume it changed M orange. It changed Morn to M orange. That's what I assume. But I like, I'm orange, you're being away yesterday. That's better. That's better for me. Alright, so this is what we're going to play today. What happens if we draw the wrong half of our deck in early stages? Uh, there are there is no wrong half of our deck. Then you have search for Escanta, Glimmer, and uh, sweepers. Like it's just a control deck. You're like that's literally a risk you can have with any control deck ever. I'm not going to explain all the card choices. I'm just going to show it to you guys here, and I'll upload it into our streamy Mc McDecker son in case you guys want to click on that. That must help you stand out in the ice cream truck. <laughs> Yeah, it does. That's ice cream, ice cream truck tech. What's up, Miss Miss Vixen? Uh, Esper Ollie. All right, cool. So that is set. Good, good to go. Good to go. All right, let's let's get some matches in. I'm gonna choose not these. We're gonna go here. Yeah, let's do this. I have a deck I really want to play on first next day. Matt, send me a message. We can work we can work with that. That ain't no thing. I know how that ice cream life is. This hand looks good. I'll keep it. Keep. Why you gotta be so mean to me? How dare you? You don't show up for months and now I'm the one that's mean to you? I shouldn't tell you that I sold... Well, I don't, I don't imagine you keep all $400 of that ice cream you sell. But also, no, you should tell me that because I'm glad you're doing... I'm glad you're killing it in the ice cream game. Also, that's summer money. Woo! That's summer ice cream money, boy. Ain't no video hunters. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Let me see that browser. Let me see that YouTube history, bro. Oh, man. Is this going to be the Fetid Pools into Drowned Catacomb Mirror Match? I don't assume they're going to have many other creatures than this to kill. He's going to say that right before they play their Glintsleeve Siphoner. They would play that first, though, if they had it, I would imagine, so... I was a five color horse master once. That was back in my college days though. Oh boy, what's it like being right every single time? Well, it's fascinating, you see. I guess we're just gonna play either hub here. We have no plays until next turn where we can Vraska's Contempt this guy. <laughs> Hey, Cracker2000 with the first. Congrats, buddy. You just made it. Thank you. Upgrade Brigade. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, you're not going to do anything. All right. I'm fascinated. Ooh, look at that. Look at that boy. Look at that beefy boy. I'm actually going to try to get rid of you now, because I don't feel like having you draw a card, but you're probably just go, oh, it worked! What in the earth? This is where they just play Nicol Bolas on us. I may be getting ready for some paper magic. Are they not going to do anything? Woo! Oh boy, we're in... We're in good shape here, boys.
Oh boy. Oh, wow, you don't want to counter either. Um, we can put this in the bottom, we'll just keep the fortress because we want to hit a land drop. Oh baby. This is gravy. So we have double disallow. They don't seem to have any disallows. Or counter spells of any variety. Alright, well, we need, we need another land. Maybe we should have just kept both lands, am I right? I pack one pick from the Chromium one from there. Yeah, that's a good that's a good place to start. That is a solid starting point. No disagreement from me, buddy. Uh, you seem to be wanting some things. Alright, we need this, this seventh land. That's incredible. Admiral, what's going on, buddy? Hajgulashi. That's that's good stuff. Oh, all right, so just gonna just gonna sit here with the old double counter spell uh, quadruple seven drop. Is this just gonna be the fashionably late? Uh, no. Oh my god, come on. Just stop. Just stop. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm not going to counter this guy too, because at a certain point I just want to be able to I've seen uh, the blue, the blue black version. Hello, cool dude from Hearthstone. <laughs> Gas. Thank you. CCT Dark, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh, look, we did it. So Vraska's Contempt and a Fatal Push have hit the trash can. Alright. This is it. Never blocking with Chromium, because if they try to kill Chromium in response, then uh, you have to turn into a 1-1 and it always dies. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this also can't be countered. Holy smokes, I forgot all about that. This card's unbelievable. I hope they try to counter it. Because <laughs> I forgot about it. It's got so much text. It's one of those Aetherling cards where you're just like, I don't... This is too much, man. Oh, I don't think... Admirable, I don't think I've seen the version with uh, Paradoxical Outcome in it. That version seems sweet. Unfortunately, there are no, there's no there's only one mox in standard right now. Do they try to kill this now? If they try to kill this now, that could be great because then we could just nexus a fate. Because ideally, they're gonna be. Uh, you probably want to wait to kill it till my turn so that when I attack with it, it's a one one. But you know, you do you. Oh, Torrential Gear Hulk. You got it. I think they're dead here. Actually, this is a game. <laughs> we attack for seven, we nexus a fate, we attack for seven again. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Let's get rid of Fumigate. Okay. Hexproof. That was a good. That was a good a good turn. Let's go land. One down. Kill you with chromium. So this card seems pretty strong. Alright, I'm going to attack you for 7 again. Alright, good game. <laughs> so We had a good time. Both sides played hard. I got these fatal pushes and... Mm, cast down, I guess, is fine. Negates can come in. Bloodfast can come in. Duresses can come in. Settle and Fumigate can come out. Archaeologist can come in. Faux show. Blink can leave. I might want the other. Actually, Jace's defeat seems great as well. I don't know if we need cast downs when we have. Uh, I guess they actually. Yeah, this is probably just better. The Elder Scrolls. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I have not done that, but I could see why you would. I'm just going to submit like this, I think. Cracker 2000, I actually noticed that as well. I was like, wait a minute, is this causing my second account? I mean, the odds of two Del Rosarios being in my specific chat at this moment is pretty funny. I mean, I guess the odds aren't funny. The odds are low. The odds, they have to be pretty slim, right? Oh, they can keep in all their creatures. All their creatures are blue, so Jace's defeat kills them. Um, we also only saw two creatures that game. Alright, now we get to queue up Negate. Oh, zoobity boop bop, skibbity bop, doo doo doo. -do. I'll play this guy to just queue up Negate. Can't really do much else. Half price arena drafts do seem pretty good. Like, I was tempted to do it myself, but I honestly, this is going to be one of those things where I'd log into Arena, I'd try to play with, with you know, half price drafts, and then the. Um, well, this card's obnoxious. The uh, the client would crash because that's literally the purpose. It's meant to crash. No, oh, fashionably late to the party, I see. All right, let's see what you got here. It's gonna be a handful of dudes. Oh, Nicobolus, which you cannot cast. Fatal push, which, why did you keep fatal push in? That's interesting. All right, well. I'm probably just going to discard this commit to memory. Oh, look, they also hit their... Oh, they no, they hit the, they hit a a, uh, a canyon slew. Yep, this is all just fine. Champion's gone. Discard double fatal push. So we need to have Varaska, Nicol Bolas, and one other card. I mean, commits a it's a pretty bad answer to Dream Stealer, but it is it is what we have, unfortunately. 
probably just discard the Nexus, I guess. Oh, I hate doing it because that's the centerpiece of the deck. Oh, all right, we're just going to play this. The problem is if they attack, we want to commit, but we also want to counter the Nicol Bolas. So I don't know what to do. Definitely discarding this planes here, though. Oh, wow, they didn't do anything. All right, well. Negate Bolas seems good. Oh, I see. Hmm. Let's play this. We'll discard the negate. Disallow the bolus, ideally. And then we'll just commit to memory. That seems bad, but I mean, what can you do? Man, Dream Stealer is killing me. One point at a time. One, two, three. Put that dude in the garbage can. I guess we could just play all our cards and then not have to worry about Dream Stealer, right? They have three cards, though, so they draw four and we draw seven. Also taps us out and they're free to do whatever they want. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, just top deck. That's a great plan. I mean, the alternative is filling their hand and giving them the first opportunity to play anything they want with seven cards. That seems pretty scary. All right, Admiral, I'm going to I'm going to memory just cuz you're saying to memory. This is what we're doing. I'm going to do it just cuz you're suggesting it. And this is going to be on you. All right. Guess we're passing cuz we played a land and uh there you go, seven cards. All right, well. It's not bad because it's a seven card hand. <laughs> I mean. I'm going to ditch Nexus of Fate again. It's not where we want to be right now. Oh, they didn't play anything? Oh, that's great. What do you got? Disallow? You didn't play Chandra? Oh, you didn't have a second red. Oh, that's great. Black, black. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is real good. Let's get rid of your disallow. Let's get rid of your Chandra so you don't play that next turn. Oh, you have a Glorybringer, though. That's pretty good. Eh, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Play you, because we have to. Nope, it's got to be black. 
One, two, three, four. All right, so we know you have these five cards in hand. You're gonna you're gonna glory bringer. We can Teferi it, and also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play like archaeologist. Alright, so they played this and they played a swamp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. So they can fatal push this guy and then just kill Teferi, which is pretty scary. Still have to do it though. Four. Five. We Teferi, we untap two. I mean, ideally, we have Vraska's Contempt here. I mean, we're basically dead if we don't hit something to deal with these guys, though. That's the problem. Mm, not great. Oh, if they let us untap here, it's actually insane, right? That's interesting. Okay, so island. So we know you have... Oh, I'm pretty sure we're 100% blocking Champion of Wits here. That's weird that they didn't Fatal Push yet. Oh, they have Glorybringer. Actually, we can exert the Glorybringer trigger. But then we still die, right? I guess that makes sense. Yeah, this makes total sense, actually. This is not great. They have two answers in their hand to get rid of our blocker and just kill us. Yeah, we're dead. You're gonna let me block? What in the hell? Why wouldn't you just win there? I'm tapped out. Matthew Ori, hey, but this is that I've been working on. It's really fishing. So they fatal pushed my guy post blocks. Okay, well, I'll take it. So what you're telling me is I can put this guy away and then play Chromium. Okay. If we had 10 mana, I would be tempted to play Chromium and Glimmer, but... Sure. But I also like keeping Glimmer in hand because we're going to have to discard something for the Chromium because they do have Hour of Glory in hand. Oh, or they don't. So they still have Fatal Push in hand or do they discard the Fatal Push to something else? Oh, they, they use the Fatal Push. And I don't think they play the Drowned Catacomb yet. All right. Well, we still need something here. This is a lot of tiny guys. All right, so that drawn catacomb is gone. I mean, ideally we can just chain Nexuses of Fate together. Nope, that ain't it. Draw a card. 
one, two, three, four. A little glimmer here. Uh, putting both of these on the bottom. All right, I think we died. We have died. All right. We block here, we take four. We can't deal with both of those guys. Okay. Okay. I did not foresee all these tiny dudes coming in. I think I'll just bring the settle back. I will play first. I don't like Fumigate only because their guys all have Eternalize, but I still think it's fine. Um, I'm gonna reluctantly keep this hand due to having two lands and two Nexus of Fate, but is our six card hand gonna be better than this? That's the question I gotta ask ourselves. The only way to be better if it's three lands and no seven drops, but that feels pretty hard to do. All right, lands all lands for days, and, and we're good to go. Okay, no, no lands. All right, we're having a good time. I remember all those reminds me of all those times I was playing Hearthstone and couldn't hit my land drops. Hey, we're doing pretty good. And they haven't played a guy yet? Is it Nikki B? Oof, that's a good one. Veto that. Land. Oh, it was a land. You guys saw it with your own two eyes. Oh, Bill. Whoa. Um, I'm also tempted to just glimmer here and then Vraska's contempt this guy. I kind of like that better because it lets me hit my land drops. Plus, Essence Scatter is worse if they... Like, we, we've seen Liliana, so like they can just go next turn Liliana. Oh, uh, want to hit our land drops. How greedy do we get? We'll put one on the top, one on the bottom. Settle also a reasonable response. The problem is, if they have a counter spell, it's bad. So we want to do this now, but then they could just play like Nicol Bolas. So that's rough. It's kind of a, a real damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. We're playing around things like Nicol Bolas by doing this now. Or playing, we're not playing around things like Nicol Bolas, but we are trying to play around things like Liliana by uh, not, not essence scattering it and instead. Yeah, all right. I feel like this is one of the least of my concerns in terms of planeswalkers. All right, so next turn we can take an extra turn. I need to keep up best and scatter. Not too bad. We can discard an extra Teferi here. And, uh, of course, hope they don't have Essence Scatter. Or, uh, Varaska's Contempt. Sure. Probably could have countered that. 
But, I mean, I figure once they get to 7 mana, I don't actually care about the front end of Champion of Wits that much, and they also have two cards in hand, so... Okay. We are... Tefria lives at least one extra turn, which means he lives at least two extra turns. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's actually fine to Nexus here. time. So resolve, untap these two again, and we'll do it again. Oh, we wasted a mana floating. Didn't care. Yeah, now we can actually use this. See what you have. Oh, a disallow? Well, that's awkward, isn't it? Yeah, we're just going to do this now, then. We know your hand, so. Ultimate Teferi, we can commit. We can't memory in the same turn, though, unfortunately. I like that we can also just uh, start drawing the, the Nexus of Fates again, because they're in the deck. Uh... So you have Torrential Gearhulk in hand. That's the one card you have. We can actually go Vraska's Contempt. Vraska's Contempt. Keep up. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to go one harder. <laughs> we have a good time, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nexus. One, two. Uh, we're actually going to commit this guy. One, two, three, four. Alt U. Oh, I guess that's all you need to see. Unfortunately, we did not get to uh, draw seven cards and exile seven of their permanents, so. All right, deck seems pretty okay. Um, I do, I kinda want another Essence Scatter. Like, this deck doesn't seem to care about. I don't love Cast Down. Take out one Cast Down. Ollie, I'm already changing your list, buddy. I mean, there is four Fatal Pushes and four Vraska's Contempts, and a Settle and a Fumigate for resolved creatures. I'd rather have a way to keep those ETB creatures out of my life. I felt okay. I was okay with it. Oh. 
Oh, Matthew Ori, this deck looks sweet, buddy. I want to look. I'm looking forward to this. Content. Wonder if anyone wants to join this queue with us. We're just trying to play some standard. I wonder if it's because the uh, the MTG Arena is. Uh, is it's got like discount day? It's it's discount day today. Hard to say. Well, we are gonna have a. Uh, it's Prime Day on MTG Arena. Yeah, that's a good point. If anyone in the key, anyone in the, in the chat wants to join, feel free to hop in the queue with me. This we can play some standard together. Forever. Johnny Big Large and Talls. That is a great username. Just, just saying. Oh, we did it. All right. For those of you watching on YouTube, apologies for that wait. I, uh, I can't control the cues, guys. I have to set my watch because it, it ran out of juice last night. Oh, uh, what is it? Two thirty-nine. All right. Oh, uh, yep. Tempting, but I'm hesitant to install MTGO on my work laptop. Then maybe, maybe you're more of a coward than I thought, Josh. Maybe you're more of a coward than I thought. Oh my god, these farmlands are so irrigated. These are the most moist farmlands ever. I ran out of juice once. What happened after that, Alan? Hashtag never again. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna go well. This is this is a game we got here, boys. I will take it. I went to the store and bought more juice. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Play a creature. Kitty cat? Big kitty cat? No, you can't have any fun. I don't. F I, now I feel bad because I'm playing this aggressive control deck and they're playing kitty cats dot deck. And you know what? Let's like everyone should have the right to play kitty cats dot deck in standard. That's really that's your god given right. If you believe in that sort of thing. Dude, it is raining like crazy outside. Standard might not be happening tonight. I mean, it's happening at the store, definitely. It might not be happening for me, though. I might skip that. Alright, see, now I feel bad because they're way ahead. And, uh... We need to land here. Oh, we did it. We're good at this game. Magic is a game of skill. I'm tempted to just bounce this guy because if we don't... They're gonna make... What is it, two dudes? Oof. Actually, hold on a second. Holy smokes, it is monsooning out there, dude. Alright, we gotta bounce this guy. I'm sorry. This girl played at a local monitor and managed to be a finny? That's gas, dude. That's gas. Oh god, don't have blossoming defense. Oh, we're dead if you have blossoming defense. Where am I from? I, I live in Florida right now. I've, I'm actually from Florida as well. Oh, Cygnus, don't have it, dude. Is this the biggest slow roll ever? 
Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay, good. Dude, it is pouring outside. I can't even... Can you guys hear it? You might not be able to hear it. It's pretty low still, but... This is a... This is quite a pour. Um... Okay, this is actually fine. Okay, well... It was more fine before when we had... Uh, okay, well, we just need some lands here. I'm going to put one on the bottom because you do only need one technically. And we really kind of want to hit... If, can, if, a, if a permanent you control left the battlefield. Alright, next time we can fill the ruin something and kill both the Leonin War Leader and the other one. Alright, this is actually pretty good. Nexus Farts. Okay, that's that's terrifying. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow, we go to three here. Oh boy. Oh Jesus. Okay, well, this is what death feels like. Can I get a fumigate one time? Just one time fumigate. One time. Nope, that is not it. I think we're dead. Five, five, one, two. Yep, we are. We are not. We are not doing it. Okay, well, that was a thing. Dear God. How is that a thing? Essence extraction, you're definitely coming in. Blink of an eye, you're not... Oh my God, this weather is unbelievable. That's incredible. Uh, 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 I told you that. I was like, oh, I feel so bad for this poor guy. He's playing kitty cats. And I was just like, well, I got wrecked. I don't think we care about the destiny. I mean, we care about the creatures. Like, if we get a Forsaken and they have a bunch of dudes on board, like, that's not... If I can't take care of the creatures, the destiny is a uh, secondary concern. I'm going to take out one Nexus. Take out two Nexuses. The good thing is, against these aggressive decks, Nexus of Fate's actually just uh, an easy card to cut. Alright, well, I'm going to keep this, because we do have the little black for essence. We do have two removal spells. So... Well, it's not really a thunderstorm. There's no thunder or lightning. It's literally just massive amounts of rain. Oh, now we can play this. That's kind of nice. All right, cool. We chose the right one. Ah. <laughs> How lucky. Well, that's obnoxious. Considering this guy costs a million to uh, get back, I'm probably just going to do this. Dang. Just a good old-fashioned soaker, if you know what I mean. I hope you don't, because I, I don't think I know what I mean. Alright, well... How many lands are in this deck? It's gotta be 26, because Ollie, Ollie doesn't skimp on lands as far as I know. 27 lands in this deck. Okay. Well. Oh, interesting. I'm gonna cast that dude down. Actually, we're gonna Essence Extraction that guy, because we can. We can save Cast Down for the other non-legendary creatures like Pride Sovereign or... Uh, all right, we're doing good. Oh, that's also great because it lets us uh, keep up. Uh, cast down. Yeah, that's fine. Wow, I can almost not see out of the window anymore. Did I not add a black here? Actually, we'll go black white. What's going on here? Wait, is this... Why isn't it using the black? Black, white... Okay. That was very weird. And they do have Blossoming Defense. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess the, the big get bigger. That's yeah, pretty good. Oh, that's good too, though.
All right. Well, Pride Sovereign. Yep. I'm impressed. This deck is impressive. Land. Oh, for crying out loud. Come on. Okay, I can see what you're up to. Hey, we did it. Plus one, plus one for each other cat. So if you make cats, that guy is going to be indisposed. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Making them cats. Do, 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 do. I'll choose you two. Oh, I see. So where you did not have five previously, now you do. Oh. 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 Oh, I like that a lot better. Oh, yeah. Oh, that works out great for us. Oh, we can also Nexus of Fate this turn. One, two, float two, untap two, Nexus of Fate. That seems pretty good. Oh, yes. Oh, that was... That was very pleasant that they chose to do that instead of something else. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight mana, so we can actually Fatal Push this guy. Hmm. The Raisins. I'm actually out of Raisins. Maybe we can keep up settle, but I don't like keeping. I don't like giving them more Johnny activations. I'm pretty sure we're just Nexus of Fate here. Cast down on you. Five. Gosh darn it! <laughs> Use the black mana. There we go. We did it. That's probably true. The The raisins are now grapes again. Also, the rain is pretty much stopped right now. Like you do. One thing I do like about uh, Nexus of Fate is that you can actually, it's an instant, so you can actually cast it in response to this Teferi. So then you get the Nexus of Fate when you only have like five mana. Well, that's pretty good. Two, three, four, five, six. We have eight mana. So we could use four of it, then we go to six. Hmm. Not ideal. I do kind of want to commit this guy. Two, three, four. 
and then we can keep up um, settle the hold up here I, mean, I feel like I'm making some some big decisions you're just responding you're just taking time responding to my spells here Houses have doors and windows and stuff. Wow. This is how you're going to be. Alright, so this guy's coming in. These guys are coming in. Oh, boy. This also should shuffle away the, chrome, the uh, Johnny, if you want. We're basically trading one pride for one settle which isn't great but we do get the two cats which are the real things at this point they're not cards so cards are one for one but they are permanents which is a real thing oh it's old horsums one two three four five six seven we don't really need that, so we'll just... Actually, we can go Fetid Pool. We can cycle this Fetid Pool. Let's do that and keep up... Keep up Chromomium Mana. Yeah, I think this game is pretty much over, which is weird to say this early in the game. But the fact that we have three Teferis in hand, they have to actually pressure Teferi at some point. Uh, we also have Chromium in hand. If they have a Blossoming Defense, Vine Mare is pretty scary. And it just kills our Chromium. Oh, Chromium can't block because it's black. That's actually a good point. It's worth noting. I mean, we still get to untap play Chromium. That's still fine. Yeah, this guy's counterable. Right? Yeah. I don't care about that. Hmm. All right. Well, now we're just going to play Chrome. Well, actually, one, two, three, four, five. We have one, two, three. We'll have we're two mana shy of Teferi and. Making Chromium block Sacred Cat or Chromium block Gideon. And Chromium blocking Gideon actually prevents us from. Uh... The problem with blocking is if they have any removal spell post combat. I don't know what this deck plays. Hmm. I don't think they play anything other than Blossoming Defense. Like, maybe Heroic Intervention? Oh, we can Mannequin the Aether Hub to get around Gideon preventing its damage. That's actually a good point. Solid strategy, my, my, my dude. Yeah, I don't feel like this is actually going to hurt us. Yep, that's fine.
Kitty cats on deck. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Still too shy. <laughs> That's how that works. Four, eight. We're probably dead. Uh, attack your face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that's unfortunate. Do we just do it again? Probably not, right? And we can go. All right, so here's what I think we're doing. We're gonna kill Gideon. We can't win right now unless we literally top deck Nexus into Nexus, which would be utterly insane. We're going to kill Gideon. We're going to Teferi put the Leonin Warden back, and we're going to place... Oh, we're going to Nexus of Fate, too. That's what we're doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to have a blocker, so we can block Pride if they attack it. Fine Mare is going to be a problem, but... If that was the Nexus fate, I would have laughed. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. This guy. Uh, Nexus Online is like 28 tickets. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, if we plus, we block here. We just don't want this to, this just can't attack. God, Vinemare's a real jerk. Do you just attack them? Like, they're going to come at Gideon. Oh, uh, no, because then they can attack s with Sacred Cat. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. Putting them to 15 isn't really... Especially when Sacred Cat puts them to 16. Yep, that is a thing. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, put it in the graveyard, sure. I will transform this. Disallow. One, two, three, four. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're so close to actually trying to hit a nexus of fate. Three, four, five. It's a lot of blue mana to not actually tap one for a one, two, three, four, five. All right. Well, we're going to pass here. Because if they make cats with the pride, then they exert it. So that's okay with us. Yeah. All right. Not untapping. Good to know. One, two. So we have seven. We can glimmer and disallow here if we want to. What's up, Brian? Brian, happy birthday, buddy. I noticed it was your birthday the other day. I forgot to say something. Happy birthday. Dude, this one vine mare coming up my Teferi every single time is pretty brutal. Really? Hmm. 
I guess we're just going to eat a cat. Because I don't feel like losing our chromium. So we take 8, 9 here. The question is, is Glimmer better or is activating as Kanta better? I mean, we're looking at four cards either way. Probably Glimmering. My god, Teferi, you're so you're so good and yet you're so bad. Nothing, huh? Okay. One, two, three, four. Fatal push seems good. I want to put you on the bottom, you on top. All right, we're going to do one of these jobbies. One, two, three. Oh, I guess we'll use a blue here. Essence extraction. All right, well, that's a thing. It's not a great thing, but it's a thing. One, two, cycle this. Okay. Looking for like another fatal push here. Play you. I still don't have a, I still don't have an eye. Wait, really? Really? We're at six, we block here. I think we're just dead. Now we gain three. Block here, kill this. Oh god, this is just brutal. And we could also flip this guy to uh to be able to block the vine mare if we need to, but I think the blocking the pouncer is probably a little bit better. How are you not attacking with everything here? Uh, also, if they do have blossoming defense, we're just dead. I think we're dead. Oh, we didn't die. Oh, we traded a Chromium for a, a flashback Adorn Pouncer. What a time to be alive. Oh, good. Fuma get off the top one time. Okay, okay. Let's, uh... This looks top four. Also looks at top four and costs four mana. One, two, three, four... Bottom, bottom, oh boy. Cycle, fumigate, fatal push. All right, we're dead. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could have tried to draw one with the, um... yeah, and this is why I like Essence Scatter over other things. Um, I also think the deck needs one more fumigate. I don't like one fumigate in here, but I'm also not a big commit to memory fan. Oh, also, I don't like this one fungal infection. I'd rather just have another mystic archaeologist in the sideboard because I'm a big fan of that card. Nope. 
Not running Scarab God? No, this is not a Scarab God deck. We have one creature in our main deck. I mean, we can steal their cards, but it's not really a Scarab God deck. Mm, it's pretty rough. Oh, I'm gonna keep it anyway. One cleansing note? I mean, like, is that that's just worse than Fumigate, though, right? Like, I don't care about destroying the artifacts and enchantments in Standard. And I would just rather have a way to gain life, too. I mean, I like that card as well, but I don't think it's better than Fumigate for what you're trying to do with it. <laughs> oh, a treasure for a treasure map. Like I, I, the other thing is I don't see many decks where I'd rather have. Well, I guess we're playing this now. Um, I don't, I don't see any decks where if I'd rather, if there's ever a situation where I'd rather get rid of their, their artifacts and enchantments than their creatures, then I'm probably already winning. If there's a situation where they have vehicles and I'd rather get rid of their vehicles than their creatures, then they probably don't have any creatures, which I'm already fine with. Right? Like, the only situation I ever choose vehicles over creatures is if I don't care about their creatures. And in that case, it's almost just like, well, why do I... Oh, that's a good one. It's good enough to go to the trash can, if you ask me. This treasure map, interestingly enough, after our conversation about... Oh, that was like a good draw. Oh, that was like a good draw. Uh, we probably should just play Glacial Fortress, though, but... I got excited, and uh, now we don't. We can't Vraska's Contempt next turn, so... I'm also in the middle of a train of thought here, trying to talk to you guys, so... For any, anyone in the YouTube comments telling me, Oh, you really ruined it on turn three when you did this from some, some, some misplayed. Yeah, just try to try to accept the fact that we're streaming at the same time. Can you type something in chat? No, I cannot. Oh. That's so good. Do we want to play that or do we want to play? Hmm. So now we have the age old question of do we try to just play Teferi on next turn? Wouldn't have to worry about it actually. Last, like this, you can see that. See, one thing to take away from this is you can see how big of a difference playing the wrong land on one turn can be. So if you were sitting there bemoaning your bad luck, um, try to remember that it was probably something you did at some point that brought you to the to the moment that you're in right now. Your vids are actually what got me to switch from paperback in 2013 when you're on two. Wow, that's awesome. That was five years ago, man. Um, blah. Let me just take the hit. Yeah, the problem with taking the hit here is that it leaves us with nothing to do against the Jade Light Ranger, but they should only have four power on board at that point. Okay, well. So the thing is, Teferi gets real good when they kill it. Because it can turn on this Fatal Push. So we can play Teferi. Or we can just start Vraska's Contempting all their things. We don't have to play Teferi here. Three Vraska's Contempts is pretty good.
We got a temporary plus. We got it for. Yeah, we're just gonna pass here. I don't see any benefits to. Uh, Yeah, and that's why we added that second Fumigate. Like, Fumigate's such a brutal card in this format where you can go turn 5 Fumigate. Let's see if we can get you out of here. Nailed it. Stop playing things. Oh my god, three? This is unreasonable. Fumigate. Dang it, Fumigates. Thank you. Spudnik, thank you so much for the sub. We really appreciate it. I think I think welcome back. That feels like a resub, right? Yeah, we'll just play this and we'll go we'll we'll do the same thing. We'll get rid of all three of these resplendent angels. I'm just assuming you don't have Blossoming Defense. That is an assumption I must make. You got it. I'll let you do your attacking. No blocks. Alright, well I was hoping you would pump this, but... Blossoming Defense is pretty strong here, especially if they pump it in, like, also one, two. They only have, actually, they only have two white, so, uh, yep, that was what we were afraid of. Ah, <sighs> Blossoming Defense. Why are you such a scumbag? Oh, we're at five, cool. Two, three, four, five, and then we have one, two, three, four. Uh, I think it's a good a good idea to invest in standard if you're investing in the um, the non rotating cards. Definitely, I mean standard's always going to be around. So like, if you don't invest in standard now and you want to invest in standard later after the rotation and the format changes, well, why not wait until it changes the next time? Like it's always going to change. That's literally the point of standard. So um, you're just going to have to find a point where you want to play standard and then invest in it, basically. Also, just don't buy the, the rotating cards. All right, three, four. All right, we did it. We're alive. They can't kill Teferi, and if they had Blossoming Defense, they would have played it, I would assume. Great. Turns out they can kill Teferi. If we actually Fatal Push this Elf a long time ago, this game would also be different. But, like, being able to Fatal Push one of these guys if something goes wrong is really good. Just play something else and we can Fumigate here. Actually, it's totally fine. Yeah, sure. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do one of these jobbies. Oh, whammies. What do you got now? Oh, I see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The problem with this is if we don't hit a land, it's pretty bad. We hit a land. Okay. We don't have a plane. We do have a swamp, though. So we can bottom you, top you, 
and hit double isolated chapel, both of which are different arts. So that's the one of the most tilting things that you can you could see. That was exactly the point. I don't have any cards before Amonkhet and all the decks have a lot of those. So I think, it, yeah, well, wait till you, wait till it rotates. But also, you can pick them up now because they're going to go up when standard rotates because they're going to be a lot more prevalent. So if you're interested in playing standard after rotation, I would get the cards now. When people say Quacker 2000, when people, when people say run a tier deck, like when they say a tier deck, I always wonder if that's incorrect because aren't all decks tier decks? Like they're just different tiers, right? Like a tier 10 deck, a tier 1 deck, a tier 3 deck. Like every deck is technically a tier deck because they all exist on the tier. But so I don't know, maybe that's semantics, but uh, it's interesting. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll have one, two, three, four mana up. Yeah, I like that. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll need blue, blue, black. Well, the implication is top tier, but that's not that's not what's said, right? So, um, yeah, I think we're good here. I start with tier zero. <laughs> well, don't you, as a programmer, don't you only have two tiers? One and zero? Yeah, we're definitely fatal pushing this guy and hoping you don't have Blossoming Defense again. But if you do, I'm going to let you pump this because dealing two to Teferi is not really something I care about. Kapow. Oh, it worked. What a time to be alive. I think we just turned this game around. I don't know how that happened. I don't really want you because you're, if they have two cards, like this is two threats. I don't really need that. I ain't about that two threat life. Let's draw a crad. One, two, three, four. This is where we take over the game. And we put both of these lands on the bottom. Um, yeah, I don't care about any of your lands right now. So we can go one, two, keep up everything we have, which is nice. Oh, there we go. Things are getting interesting. I think we're doing well here, but no kitty cat attacks. Um, I kind of just want to push this because this ultimate's a win con, especially with Nexus. Like, we can go to 7, Nexus, go to 8, draw another Nexus, go to 10, obviously. Did you see how I just made all those numbers up? We did see that. 1, 2, cycle my shoe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... So we can do it all, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we have one, two, three, four for Glimmer. One, two, three, four. We hit another Nexus, ideally. We did not, but I don't need either of these. And we did it, boys. One, two. Okay, one, two. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got him. Just a two slices of cold bacon, pineapple pizza for my fridge while drinking flat Coca Cola. Just wanted y'all to know that what what tier my life was in. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, good times. Let's draw again. Oh, let's glimmy again. And more lands on the bottom. Ooh, Chromomium. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we get two extra. I don't think we're gonna use it though. One, two, three. Oh god. I'm terrible at tapping mana. Tapping lands is like my least favorite part of like it's like the micromanaging of uh of Magic the Gathering. Oh, and they scoop them. Scoop them up. Alright, so they're playing a bunch of st st stupid dummies, right? Extraction seems good. Blink seems bad. I just don't care about blinking anything. Fatal Push feels like it's a 3 of now. Like, there's so many creatures that are 3 drops and 4 drops that you just want to get rid of and you can't. I'd give my... Maybe, that, maybe that's why I put the cast down in here. There's just a lot of... I might go back to two cast downs. Don't care about Forsake. Heldest Reborn seems okay. I'll take out a Disallow, I'll take out a Nexus, and we'll take out. That seems fine. I'm okay with this configuration. Alright, so keep this hand. Yes, because we have a search. And both of these basics are nice because uh lets us play any of our isolated chapel, drowned catacomb, or uh glacial fortresses for free. Oh, no green sources. That's interesting. Um, all right, let's search for Ascanta. Rip MTG Arena server. Yep. Oh, interesting. Oh, do you hit Nexus of Fate? Hmm. Metaphories. I should have just boarded them all out. That would have been the tech, right? How long? How long? Does anyone know how long the uh, MTG arena lasted before the stress test killed it? I'd be curious to hear. Four minutes, about two minutes, almost immediately. Wow. Yeah, so I'm glad I didn't try to stream that today. All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, put you into the graveyard. Hit a land. Nailed it. We are good at this game. Double essence extraction. Now we have double black for all of these three. Search for Azganta is basically just a Tefri, right? Well, you know we're going to do this. But you have no choice, right? Like, you can't not play that, so. Uh, no, I'll keep that. That gives me second blue, second white. All right, seems good. Zero seconds. Wow, that's rough. Oof. Shit. 
Sha-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la. Yeah, well, we're definitely killing that. Ooh. I'm gonna keep that, even though we miss a land drop. I'm tempted to just... No, we gotta kill this. But next turn, we get to just Eldest Reborn if we hit a land. Turkish, thank you so much for 42 months in a row. Oh my god, dude. That's insane. Thank you so much, buddy. Uh, nope, keeping that. I think this game has ended. I think the game is over. So here's my biggest problem. Like, the game in beta isn't perfect. Yeah, no, it's definitely not perfect, right? Like, um... My, my problem is this. I saw Ali post the other day. He was like, I spent like $100 or $300 on stuff just so I can finish out my deck. And my problem is that like they're, they're charging people actual money and you can spend actual money in the game. But it's a beta. Like, I don't get it. Why? Thank you. Like, why are you charging people during the beta that they're testing it for you? It's so weird to me. It's just very strange. I don't really understand it. Maybe I'm dumb. I just don't know. How to... Church, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. The gems you buy are going to be refunded? What does that mean? Like you get your money back? So what's the point? Are you just loaning money to wizards? Explain it to me. Um, No, we'll keep lands. All lands are probably good right now. They said you get the money back on release? Like they just refund it back to your credit card? So if I buy $100 worth of gems, right, and I spend them on cards, do I keep the cards? Or they just are you just saying they wipe it and you get to respend them again? I'm not talking about the wipe. I don't care if it's wiped or not. Like, I'm not saying, hey, guys, don't spend money on this because it's going to get wiped and I'm worried about what's going to happen to your stuff. Like, I don't care about that. That's not I'm, not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the fact that as a game in beta, there's the option to spend money in the hundreds on it already. That's weird to me. Yeah, that's not, that's not what I'm talking about, though. The respend is not the concern. Like that's that seems the ver that seems the bare minimum expected. Um, I'll put you on top and you on the bottom. Because now we're at a point where we can. Uh, um, yeah, no, this is enough lands. Are they going to scavenging ground at some point? So basically, you just get to re you get to recreate your entire collection again, is what you're saying. Sure, testing how gems work in the game is helpful for them to balance the economy, but can't you do that without people spending money? Can't you just give people a certain amount of gems every week? Like, it's just weird to have that kind of a cost associated. It's like me paying sixty dollars for Injustice Two for PlayStation because that's the full cost of the game when it's in beta. Right? And then them saying like, oh, it's okay, don't worry. The money, like, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna wipe it. Oh, see, I was talking to you guys, so I didn't even, we're gonna wipe it, but it's okay because, you know, think about, um, let's see, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we don't need that. We will flip you. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna wipe the Injustice 2 servers and stuff. And we're going to give you the full copy of the game when it comes out. I'm like, but yeah, of course it does. I mean, of course you're going to give me the full copy of the game. That's totally obvious. I mean, it's implied. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going to pass here. That doesn't pay wages? Well, yeah, but comp game companies constantly don't charge people for their beta games. Like, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Like you, if you, if that's your only source of revenue to pay your wages, like you're, you're going to go under, <laughs> you're not going to be successful as a company. You should have other avenues to pay your wages than, uh, um, actually we'll do this after. 
uh, than than charging people for beta. <laughs> That's like. I mean, just because you've played tons of games that had in beta that had microtransactions doesn't mean it should be the standard by any means. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make sense. WSX Carbon, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm just going to play Chromium here for obvious reasons. You have MTGO as an example of funds not being allocated. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. This is Esper Control. So we can actually fatal push one. The problem they just they just eldest reborn the token. I guess we could eldest reborn and make them choose one of these two. One two three four five six seven one two three. I'm pretty sure we're just nexus of fading here. Oh, Esper's treating us pretty okay. Why is Esper control? I don't I don't know what that means. What are you saying right now? Uh one, two, three, four, five. Screech. Alright, so they're done on board. And we got this uh, Eldest Reborn kicking. Okay, okay. Why is Moon Bicycle? This stuff is obvious. Your, your questions are valid. Any good model color action standard? Oh, uh, I think so. I sort of feel like their last stuff is ruined, but people expect to it. People are regularly playing, paying for unfinished games, and the opportunity to work as QA. I, I think that's true. I think that is the way it's going. Um. Oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> like you do. They need to gain five, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, and we get to steal that Lyra. L -l 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 Lyra. Wow, that cat's loud. No Nexus of Fate? Dang. I'll just take the Vraska's Contempt. All right. Like, technically, we should be playing the Field of Ruin. Yeah, we'll just play the Field of Ruin. Because it has the potential to turn on our Fatal Push. What up, you're skinny? going down. Uh oh, don't do anything crazy. They got this. They got this. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, if we if we if we if we fill the ruin the marsh, they just get a forest. I can't imagine they don't have forests in their deck. I don't think we're taking them off green. I also don't think there's any green card in standard that we're really afraid of here. Good games. Good games. Take an extra turn after this one. Just in case. Also, you guys know we play you you know you know that I play less than less than uh I play subpar sometimes at certain points in the game when it gets kind of grindy like this. And the reason is that it's just easier to make those subpar plays than to focus and to focus on the chat than it is to sit here and, and play everything perfectly in a game that I'm streaming. So, um, yeah, this deck seems pretty sweet. I'm pretty okay with it. Ew, you're skinny. Thanks. Thank Buck. It's Bucking Friday, Buck. <laughs> okay. I like it. I accept. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate the support as always. Uh, record with the deck was 1-2. This is the final list that we came to. I'm not sure if uh, I would change anything. I do like Nexus of Fate. I think it's super fun. Chromium as the win condition was also great. Teferi as the win condition was also great. Um, I think you might want to commit to memory just because you can put commit in the graveyard, ultimate Teferi, and then memory their entire life. So actually, I mean, you might just want the one commit in the deck as like a kind of obnoxious win, win card. I also, I kind of just want to cut a search for Azkanta, but I also kind of don't. I do kind of want to cut a blink of an eye. I like I like the other cards better. I don't think it's great. Thank you. It's definitely useful. I don't know. I, I could see cutting that for one more Fumigate. Fumigate seemed like a card that we wanted, uh, especially if the aggressive decks are more prominent. We only have one Settle and one Fumigate, but this is the list I'd probably go with uh, if I was going to play this tonight. I'm not sure. Either way... Uh, I think we're gonna close out this standard video. I'm not leaving. Not I'm not. I'm not done streaming. I'm just gonna end the video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content. If you want to slam that dislike button and you wanna you, you don't like the content, tell me why in the comments. How, be be courageous and tell me why in the comments that you don't like the video, just so I can improve them. And then we're all happier and everybody wins. Um, and let me know. And I'd appreciate that kind of that kind of feedback. But uh, yeah, otherwise, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. You can check out my Patreon page and my Discord, uh, my Twitch channel in the link below, in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.